Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am bringing you this look I have going on right here. <laughs> and again, I am doing another look using the Morphe Times Kathleen Lights palette. This palette is currently sold out, but they will be bringing it back. I really wanted to play with the green shades over here. Um, I really wanted to use this one, but it just didn't happen. So <laughs> yeah, I just went ahead and used the green shades over here. I really was into this like olive dark olive green shade so this is the look I came up with again I wanted to go ahead and use Kathleen lights collabs I did use her highlighting palette and this lip shade is also from collabs that she has previously done um, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and also don't forget to like this video as well if you have any recommendations on what kind of looks you would like me to create um, leave them down in the comments section below. I do read all of the comments So just make sure if you have any requests for me that you put them down below So if you would like to know how I created this look then just keep on watching So I already did apply my primer and I did set it as well with the lightest shade that's in this palette So the first shade we're going to be taking onto the crease is the light brown shade and just applying it to start a transition shade The next shade I'm going to be taking is that red brownish shade in the palette and also applying it in my crease just to start adding some definition into our crease. The next shade I'm going to be taking is that gray shade in this palette and I'm going to be taking that shade in my crease just to start having a smooth transition from lid shade to crease. I do not want any harsh lines so this step is definitely important for this look. Now we're going to be taking the olive green shade in this palette and applying it to our lid. I'm just packing this color onto the lid to the vibrancy that I want the shade to be. And again taking that same blending brush we used with the gray shade and just trying to make sure we don't have any harsh lines. Now I'm going to be taking the light brown shade again, the first one that I used, just to make sure everything is blended out. I'm going to be taking a mixture of the two light shades for my brow bone highlight and then I'm going to be taking my blending brush I used in my crease to blend out any harsh lines. So for glitter, I'm going to be taking this lemon lime glitter from bulkglitters.com and I'm going to be taking the Lit Clearly Glitter Adhesive to make sure the glitter stays on my lid. So I did dip my brush into the liquid and then I dipped it into the glitter and now I'm just creating a um, line onto my lid. So I'm going to be applying my mascara and lashes off of camera. My mascara is the L'Oreal Voluminous Feline and the 615s from Salon Perfect. So for foundation, I'm going to be taking the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation with my Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. I really have been enjoying this foundation. At first, um, I didn't like it. Usually with two pumps, it's good enough for foundation, but for this one, you have to use um, about four to five pumps pumps to get the coverage that I want and what I also like about it is that it doesn't look cakey for the amount of foundation I use. For concealer I'm going to be taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light medium and also the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer in the shade medium. So first I'm taking the Maybelline Concealer just to hide any dark circles I have and then I'm going to be taking the Tarte Concealer to brighten up the face and under eye area. To set my under eye area, I'm going to be taking this Flower Beauty Loose Powder in the shade L01. And this was my first time using this product and I actually really, really liked it. It definitely set my concealer and it also made my under eye area look really smooth and I really enjoyed that. If you have been hearing anybody rave about this product, uh, the rave is real. You definitely should try it out. And I did apply this powder everywhere where I did apply concealer.
To set my foundation, I'm going to be taking my Sephora Matte Perfection Powder in the shade Warm Beige. I'm going to be bronzing my face with this NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer. I'm going to be taking it on the hollow points of my cheekbones and I'm also going to be using it to slim up my nose and also put it on my forehead where the sun will naturally hit it. For blush, I'm going to be taking this Romantic Rose by Milani Cosmetics just to give my face a little color. For my highlight, I'm going to be taking the Makeup Geek Times Kathleen Lights Highlight Palette in the shade Night Light and just applying it to the top points of my cheekbones, my nose, and Cupid's bow as well. So I did do my brows off of camera, so now I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Glide On Pencil in the shade Colt and is an olive green shade. I'm going to be taking the green shade in the palette and just applying it to my lower lash line to set that liner. I'm going to go back in the palette and take the red brown shade again and just smoking out the lower lash line and blending out any harsh lines as well. So I did take the gold shade in the palette and applied it in my inner corners but I felt like it wasn't making my eye look or my inner corners pop so I did go ahead and take the lightest shimmer shade in the palette and applied it on top of it. And of course finishing off this look with a few coats of mascara to my lower lashes. I'm going to be taking this NYX lip liner in the shade Soft Brown and I'm just going to be lining lining my lips and filling them as well and then I'm going to be taking the Ofra Cosmetics Times Kathleen Lights collab in the shade Miami Fever. I am going to be dabbing on the color onto my lips and I'm going to be blending it out with my fingers. So this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look and I hope you guys recreate it. If you guys recreate this look, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. Um, if you're not yet following me on Instagram, I have a link to my Instagram down below and I am on there pretty um, consistently. I do post at least once a day. So yeah, go ahead and follow me on Instagram for daily inspirations as well. I do post a lot of makeup of the days and stuff like that. So if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And also don't forget to like this video as well. I just want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.